everybody, I'm Dan, and I'm putting Tree 2000, also known as Dan 2000, Dan on Xbox Live. Now, usually this time of the day, I go ahead and stick on YouTube and we'll see what's up. Now, the first video I see is one of one of my favorite YouTubers ever. He's funny, he's fat, he's part of DF, and that's great. I'm wearing my new Bray Wyatt t-shirt, and I just finished watching my Nanny Night Raw, and editing a video for you guys to see in that you've probably seen is my model combat X video now I quite enjoy wrestling I have been a fan of WWE for a while and I thought that the role was okay it wasn't good it wasn't bad it was okay there were there were divas spot with the mid TV blah 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 fast forward through that on my sky plus box yeah, I think well, I don't really pay attention to the divas. I haven't paid attention to the divas since the Attitude Era. The Attitude Era women's matches were pretty decent. Heck, even Nikki James when she came into it, like in the uh, late 2000s, like 2010 onwards, they were pretty solid divas. Now, what Grimm does on his channel, he re reacts. To Monday Night Raw. Now, for the last few weeks, and ever, in fact, even since he started on starting doing it, under my own opinion, and this is my opinion, so you can hate me, you can love me, you can respect me, you can agree with me, you can disagree with me, but this is going to be my reaction to his reaction of Monday Night Raw. But let me just clarify it. That I thought that Monday Night Raw was okay. There was some good. There was the John Cena Open Challenge. I like that because you know, you know, it ended up being the New Day, and they turned into a brawl, and that was fantastic. You know, the Dudleys and John Cena in one corner to take on the New Day, and uh, ended with like a just, uh, I think. Disqualification? Oh no, wait, no, it wasn't. It was the New Day who won that match, that's right. But it was, the Monday Night Raw ended with a double count out, but it was a brawl with, with Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns. That was excellent, that was great. You know, we had Seth Rollins being chokeslammed by Kane as, oh, he took out Kane's leg, and we all thought it was the end of Kane in the, in the back of the ambulance, and then Red Mist. And smoke came from the back of the ambulance because he stopped, and they got changed into Demon Kane. It, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like Jim Carrey from the mask. Like, as soon as he puts the mask on, he turns into a completely different person. I love this new Kane. WWE keep this new Kane going. One minute he's corporate Kane, one minute he's Demon Kane. We don't know who we're gonna see next. That is brilliant. So my reaction to Raw is that it was great. It was okay. Fantastic. Just a normal Monday Night Raw to me. I don't nitpick. I don't go looking for spoilers. I don't look on the internet. I ignore the internet. The internet sucks. Let's face it. The only thing that the internet is good for is YouTube videos like this to help people, such as myself, to make YouTube videos every whenever I can, and successful YouTubers like Grim to make YouTube successful you know some things I enjoy I'm porn that's basic the answer is and maybe the occasional buying stuff like off of Amazon and eBay so shopping watching YouTube videos and porn videos <laughs> that's best in the old that the internet is good for because if you try and research something 90% of the time it's a load of bullshit but Enough of my rant about my, not enough, enough about me, but let's watch this reaction because for the last few weeks he's been driving me insane, and I've reacted to him as if I wanted to shout back and pause the video. So I thought to myself, this me reacting to him and ranting about him again. I love you, Grim. I think you should keep up doing your videos, and I'm gonna be honest with you. There are some videos where I think, meh, and you failed it. Some videos I think you're now it. I'm not a hater, and I'm, 
I'm, like, just look at me, I'm 26 years old, man. I'm from the UK. I probably ain't never gonna send you anything, but because, <laughs> no disrespect, but I ain't gonna spend, unlike some people that, you know, from the US or UK or whatever, who spend thousands of pounds or maybe hundreds of pounds on a replica belt on www.shop.com. I do question you guys, I'm so sorry. But why would you spend the, that amount of cash just to send it to a random YouTuber? I wouldn't want you to do that. But I ain't gonna put my address down below for you to send me to gift, expensive gifts like that. I mean, sorry, a, a, a rec that must have cost you like a, whoever sent him that. See, seriously, man. Seriously, uh, that's just. As, I mean, the words of that's too stupid. I mean, yeah, he probably appreciates it, but. No, I actually agree with um, the character Heel White or Dog Cat in this situation because. Surely your parents are gonna be pissed. No, 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 Heel Wife, I mean. What, you probably got in trouble. I'm sorry, but you bought it on yourself. So, yeah. I, I don't really care if you send him gifts, but if I would like to say this, try and keep it under a budget. Try and keep it under under a budget. I mean, seriously. Uh, but do whatever you want. If you want to send him expensive stuff, don't blame me. If you get in trouble with your mum or your dad or whoever pays the bills, because I mean, ninety percent of the time, you probably ninety uh, percent of these audience are probably younger kids. Us grown ups like me, twenty six year olds, I enjoy it for the ride. He makes me laugh. He sometimes makes me cringe. But he's a YouTuber. That's what YouTubers do, do to me. Sometimes I think, oh god, that was a terrible video. Or sometimes I think it was a bad video. So this is the, an example. Now I'm gonna press play on my Xbox One controller. Right now. Hello everybody, it's your new YouTube Wrestling Vegas Heavyweight Champion coming to you with my Raw review for the last Raw of the month of September 2015. And it was kind of good. I want to say that it ended strong. Again, I, I agree with that. Strong, it was kind of good. And it had a big hunk of shit in the middle. Kind of. Am I right? I wouldn't I say Let me know completely. The below. I don't know what you thought of Rock. But it this video off might be going in your comments, my friend. People were so mad that John Cena started off the show. I wasn't. I wasn't pissed. He's he's rude. He is actually a good superhero. Good superstar at the moment. Thought that. Heath Slater was going to accept the U.S. Open Challenge. Why would they think Heath Slater? I don't even think the fucker works there. I'm just going to pause the video for me. I'm just going to pause the video right there. I'm sorry, Grim. I'd just like to I hate to correct you, buddy. But, yeah, he does still work there. Chances are, he's probably helping people on NXT or main event. If you go on the WWE work Network, you'll probably find that he's there. In the WWE Network. And... He works on part of that. If you go and watch Swerve, which I do recommend, Grim, it's actually quite funny. He he's been doing that. So yeah, he works for a company, and in fact, even a while back, he was on Monday Night Raw, lo losing heck. The reason why it probably thinks it, the, the internet, which again I agree, I don't like the internet. WWE fans they spoil everything for you, and most of the time they're wrong. But that's not the point. The point is, I think Heath Slater just is in main event, and main event takes place on the WWE Network. Uh, he does still work there, but have you ever thought about this? Maybe he's got an injury. Yes, I know you haven't seen Heath Slater in years, it's quote unquote. Um, but I'm telling you now, sorry, mate, but Grim. He is actually working still for the WWE, but he's doing, you know, the WWE Network side of things. 
So yeah, he's mainly on the WWE Network. If you if you look it up, I even looked up some main event stuff, and I actually saw his name next to them. So yeah, he's in he's he's on main event, WWE main event. He's been treated put down. I don't like it whatsoever. I mean, I like he's later, you know, but he's gone about to main event status. That's why you haven't seen. Who comes out? It's the Trump voters. It's the fucking new day, and I love these dudes because they are funny as hell. I agree there. I agree with you there. Okay. Okay. But who's gonna accept the U.S. Open Challenge? It's gonna be Xavier Woods. And for a second there, I actually thought that hey, wait a minute. New Day's really been over lately. Xavier Woods has been really doing good. Maybe they're gonna take the title off of John Cena, and maybe they're gonna give it to Xavier Woods. Holy shit! Could you imagine how big of a moment that would have been on Robert Xavier Woods taking the United States title? It would have been fucking awesome. Therefore, we know for a fact it's not gonna happen. Because why the hell would they do something cool? Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know. Oh uh, no, right again, now. I actually agree with you at this point. The new day half of the taxi title belts. He's about to lose to John Cena. And now the new day runs in and they break it up. And it's a DQ match. Oh, that's the thing. It's going to be a DQ match. But wait a minute. Now, again, I want to pause this in his video. I kind of see where Grimm is actually coming from here. I mean, yes. It would be fantastic to see the New Day as triple champions, just like the Shield. The Shield did it, but not quite there yet. I mean, I think we need to have someone else as the champ. Plus, John Cena's just won it back. I mean, come give the guy a break. You know, it's not going to happen just yet. Wait till John Cena loses to someone else, then loses the rematch, and then then maybe have the New Day have the tag the team titles from the United States Championship. Personally, I think this Saturday they're going to retain their titles, but that's my opinion. What's your opinion, Grim? Do you think that this Saturday on the WWE Network that they're going to retain it? Maybe I'm going to get it here. Here come the Dudley Boys! Which, by the oh, way, Psst, Grim, you that. stole their you gimmick the with breaking. Where the fuck is Teddy Long to make a tag team match, player? <laughs> we're three on three tag team Instead, match. it was three. Teddy Kane. And it's a mediocre match. I guess. I mean, it was good. I didn't say it was bad. Like, it was a bad match. It was a pointless frog match. And guess who won? The New Day. I was happy to see the New Day win. And of course, so I was on. I agree with that. For bad, super C to take a pin. Oh, frick. He wouldn't even put over the New Day in a three Fuck, on three Dudley's tag match. Good for them. Anyway, I guess it was alright. But the end of Raw is what got me all riled yep. up. Yep, I know, totally agree with like, this one. I said earlier in the video that this... Okay, now, the Big Show Mark Henry match is just to help support for this what's coming up this Saturday. What you seem to forget, Grim, is Big Show and Brock Lesnar have had a rivalry in the past. I just don't understand why do you want Big Show to retire so badly. The question remains why? Because I know what happened. He will retire, or he'll go away for a bit, and you'll be like, oh, where the Big Show go? The WWE fans don't care about it, but I do. I think, I mean, Think about it, he's a former WCW champion, former ECW champion, former WWE champion, former World Heavyweight champion, former Tag Team champion. This guy is a um, giant. That's the whole point. There is no other giant in the WWE right now. No more Great Carly, thank fuck. Let me ask you this, Graham. Who would you rather see wrestle? The wank, the walking plank of wood of Great Carly that most of the time botches up everything, even his speech. On the big show. Answer that question, damn it. Again, in the, in the in the comment section below of his video, I'm going to be posting the link to this video. So, and I hope you watch it. I really do. 
Now, fuck that shit. The end of the show was awesome. It was Roman Reigns versus Gay Wyatt. Hi, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. What the hell is he calling that? I don't know if it's his action and figure. And that's exactly what he did, but Roman Reigns beat his ass too. Well, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I know it sounds like... Bray Wyatt, but... This is Jay Wyatt over here. Jay oh. Wyatt getting ready to rumble against Roman Reigns. He's not actually Jay. Is he? They both into a brawl. I don't think so. It was a match, and then I think they both got... You had a match and I seen come out in WWE. Or, I don't know. I actually, I forget. I got a little fuzzy there. They went out into the crowd. They went over by the production singer. And Bray Wyatt, wait a minute. First time ever, he hits Roman Reigns over there with that steel person. One of the WWE production members standing there working on the soundboard and shit gets grabbed by Bray Wyatt. Yeah, and yeah. Into WWE the WWE security. Wink. With a More person. like an XT person. People. It was funny as hell. Now, obviously, it wasn't a real WWE. Production yeah, exactly. Guy. I agree. Sort of failed it a little bit. It was like, oh, are you ready to perform it now? <laughs> obviously, it was an unknown indie wrestler. Playing the yeah. part of yeah. WWE production. I'm known that the in, in the rest of the world. And what did Bray Wyatt do to capitalize upon hitting him with a solid steel person? Roman Reigns is all stumbling, stumbling back. Bray Wyatt goes running towards him and does the flying fat roll and knocks him right through the barricade. That was awesome. I agree. Goes, that was awesome. That. And then Bray Wyatt gets on top of the announce Same. table. I've got the whole the world. Fuckers. And then Roman Reigns. Spear! Hit him with a spear and puts him right through the commentator table. That and was awesome. I agree. Oh. And then you end. That was and awesome. I'm like, wait, did they die? I guess the match was already over, so they just beat the shit out of each other, and now they're both dead, laying through a table, and Raw ends that way. The middle of the show featured some more stuff with Kane and Seth Rollins. Building that up, we had. Kane presents Seth Rollins with a present, and in there was the broken off head of the chocolate statue. Naturally, Seth Rollins is pissed. So what's he do? He beats the shit out of corporate Kane. He puts the chair over his yep. ankle, stomps on it a few yeah. times. Now, I do have to ask the question. Like Friday, 5.30 p.m. on the main channel. I'm going to put the fucking chair right over his leg, and I'm going to cripple that little shit cricket. And that's what happened to Kane. His leg now, was crippled. I do have to ask this question. bring in an ambulance. Let's take him out. Uh, <clears throat> now, I just thought I'd ask this question. Did, even for Grim, or for everybody that's watching this reaction video, did, for, uh, did uh, Seth Rollins use a band move, uh, aka the curb stomp on the leg, or did you just, you know, boom? So, Grim, what's your thought? Did he use a band move, or did he just not, just, just use a boom move? I thought it was painful. You must have thought it was painful. But yes, I agree. The ending, what you're about to say now? Guess who was in that ambulance? Demon King! RBD. Kane's in there getting high with RBD. Back of the ambulance fills up with smoke, and out comes Mask Kane! How the hell did he do a costume change so fast? Oh, he must have been wearing it under his suit, and he just put that thing on. I just can't believe that pot helps you grow hair that fast. That was the lesson coming out of this episode, people. You get in an ambulance oh, with joke. RVD, instant hair growth. For all you bald dudes out there, in case you want to know. Now, he comes back out, Seth Rollins, motherfucker, was like, Argh! King grabs the Oh no, it's gotta be King! Demon King! King holds up the bell! Motherfucker was like, Argh! Oh, wait a minute. You know what I forgot to tell you? The whole part with the human resources girl, Ashley. I didn't forget to tell you about it. Because the segment fucking sucked. Who the fuck is Ashley? And why should I give a shit about her? Ashley's probably another random plant that's going to be in the WWE later on in the years. Probably another diva. Well, probably win the diva's title off of Charlotte sometime in the future, Mr. Grimm. So... Yeah, I know, I agree, it kind of sucked. But it was kind of hurt, uh, and uh, at the same time, it was kind of hilarious. You have to admit that it was funny. Because Demon King, you saw in the clips, he's a demon. He's, I like it when the Demon King chokeslam and have uh, people setting people on fire. Zack pooped somebody's balls, tombstone and a priest. That's the King you and me remember by God. Not the corporate cane, but in the director of operations or whatever he is now, sometimes. But the split personality cane is on the good side of me. 
Where is he on the good side of you? Eh, he could be. Skull Frank. The only good part was the beatdown and the ambulance. The rest of the shit stunk. For no reason, Randy Orton versus Bo Dallas. Randy Orton wins with the archive Bo out of nowhere. No reason. We also had, like I mentioned earlier, we had Big Chover. RKO, my top guy, my favorite current day WWE superstar versus Bo Dallas, Mr. Grimm. Was it just a time killer? You know, just to one insult the people at ringside, the Buffalo Bills. You know, you know to get the crowd pumped up and just to feel on the match. And you could probably agree with me there. It was great to see Randy Orton beat the shit out of Bo Dallas. Okay, Bo out of nowhere. Good pun. I like that one. Kevin Big Show, that young up and comer, the big push going into his match against Brock Lesnar October 3rd at MSG. Nobody cares about Big Show. We all want to see them. I care about Big Show, damn it. I told you this before. I care about him. He can knock the fuck right out of you, Grim. I like to see you, actually. What I want you to do is. Fucking Ian Mahal WWE fucking jump the rails if you have to. You keep saying it's too stupid, then do it yourself. Go one on one with the big show. Tweet the bastard. Go on, I dare you. Tweet him and say, I don't want to match with you, big show. And then see what happens. Here, for me, knock the fuck out of here. Because I wouldn't want to do that. He's a BFD. He's a BFG. Big fucking giant. Yes, he's getting old, but everybody got told! You're getting old! You're getting fat! Actually, I'm actually kind of worried about you, man. You might need, actually, need to uh, lose weight a little bit. I know you're meant to be part of degeneration fat, but you know what they say, you know, it's not very healthy for you. Yeah, so, if you lose a few pounds, then you can still be degeneration fat, but you can also be degeneration less fat. That would, it's just, as a fan, I'm a bit concerned, man. So, you know. Fucker get flattened by your boy, Boy Razor. Nobody cares that the big show beats on Mark Henry. They had that match 15 years ago. Now, I understand not everybody's bored of big show like you've only been watching wrestling for a year. But this old asshole's been watching wrestling for a long time. And the big show's so been fun. around my television for a long time. And I'm... Sick of looking at his fat roll face. Nope. So Rusev is going to take on Kevin Owens. And I'm like, wait a minute. Aren't both these bastards bad guys? But there was a point to this shit. And that's because Ryback is on commentary. The man who can barely master a microphone is going to sit there on commentary. Who's too bad? Who comes up with this shit? Ryback all of a sudden finds himself in the fray. And now Rusev to be fair, he didn't actually son, say that much. DFS. And now they're both beating the shit out of Ryback. But, oh, yeah, don't show the world. Here comes Dolphin Ziggler for the save. And I'm like, wait a minute. How the fuck come Dan Teddy Long come out and make a tag team match player? Because that's what should have happened here, right? Well, they'll probably have a tag match next week on Raw. Something I look forward to for you. Oh boy, we get another chance to see the big show twice in one episode. Yes, good. Cut the promo about how his client, Brock Lesnar, has beat the shit out of the big show repeatedly. The big show doesn't take too kindly to this, and he waddles his wide ass down to the ring, and he's like, blah, 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 cheeseburger, blah, 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 cheeseburger. He should have beat up Heyman. Says the one that's in the video. What the fuck? Why? Who cares? I don't want to hear your fat fucking face again, Big Show. All right. Get, get, get. I'm on Friday. I've got some good news. Or, or bad news. Bad news, Barrett, King Barrett, whatever the fuck they're going to call him. He's back. We have Neville versus Stardust <laughs> fighting for the 45th time. And then the match doesn't even end because Barrett comes back and he's all like, I got people that I boom, and he hits Neville. And then... And Neville wins by DQ, so there was no fucking finish to the match. But hey, bullshit Barrett's back, yeah! Ron Strowman and Luke Harper beat the primetime players. Nobody cares. And now yeah. my favorite yeah, I agree. Program, no. where we get That's technical difficulties at my end. I don't know if there was. It. It's like to ask you this, Grim, as a bunch of videos weren't cool. Um, was there technical difficulties at your end? Because at my end, there were some technical difficulties when I was watching Raw. So please answer that. If there was, 
porn. Fuck. It's just the divas on Miz TV. Becky Lynch and Charlotte are going to be on Jizz TV, but they want to talk about Paige. And out comes Paige. And Miz is pissed. And when you can, that's the right people on the show. But then out comes the Bellas. And Paige is going to join PCB again. And wait a minute. Shit, or are they all turning bad? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Who writes this shit? But then we're going to have a match. I agree. I don't care about Team Bella versus Team PCB. And what happens? Nikki Bella gets the win by pinning Charlotte. She's like, ah, son of a bitch. I'm the third of a tramp. I slap my mouth. She pinned Charlotte for the big victory. It was something. It was something to be seen. Let me tell you, you didn't want to miss that match. So I might have missed something. But then again, remember, this isn't a full show review. It's my raw roast. Because we like to make fun of this stuff. We like I don't. to react to this stuff. And that's what we do right here every Tuesday night on this channel. And I thank you guys for watching. And I want to know all of your thoughts on Raw. Leave them down in the comments below. I will read them. And I thank you guys for watching. You because want reading them? You can just watch his Four more. Grip out. Boom. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, there we go. So there you go. I just watched that. What are my thoughts? Well. Yeah. Grim. Keep up the good work, but at the same time, just, you, I think you try too hard sometimes. So like I said, my opinion on you, buddy, you make me laugh, you make me smile, you make me, you make me want to cringe sometimes. But for that reaction to Raw, personally, I thought it was okay. I thought it was funny at point, points, and just do yourself a favor. If you ever bump into the picture, duck! Because I'm pretty sure he'll knock your ass clean off. This show. Yeah. I'm Dan R for 2000 also known as Dan Two Times Talent on Xbox Live. Whether the Grim watches my video or not, what do you guys think? Shall I do more reactions to different videos of different people? Let me know in the comments section below and subscribe for more, as Grim can say. Boom! I'm just kidding. Alright, feel free to subscribe if you want to. Bye bye, everybody.